Well, welcome, welcome to Shadow Me Tarot. We have a new Oracle box today, or a new Oracle deck today. This is the uh, Paolo Barbieri Chinese Oracle. Um, I think a lot of people collect him, so I wanted to kind of give him a shot and see what he's got here. Uh, but we've got the um, Chinese Oracle, and it says, The essential magic of the ancient Chinese zodiac is captured by Western art reflecting the never-ending harmonious flow of yin and yang energies. Cool. I'm like, I can see this being... Yin and yang to me is like divine masculine, divine feminine. Okay, relatively thin deck. I mean, there's only 12 signs, <laughs> I think, in the Chinese zodiac. Um... Looks like it's in multiple languages. Uh, gives you a chart as to when. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is what's in English. Just that little bit right there. Just that little bit. Everything, everything else is in a different language. Lots of and lots of different languages. Uh, we have got past, present, future readings here. Love, spirit, emotional, changes, evolution, opportunities, money, body, material. That's pretty cool. I'm going to say right there, that's a solid spread. Um, and Chinese or German or Russian. I mean, every language. So... Uh, for this, this is in English. It's about five pages. <laughs> no, it's like 15 pages total. Um, so cool. Yeah, English, Italian, Spanish, French, Portuguese, Czech, I want to say, and Mandarin would be all the languages that it's in. <clears throat> Czech or Russian, I'm not sure which one. Um, let's see what we got here, if we can... Kind of get these open. So this will be a quick video because there's like 12 cards in here. <laughs> How many cards did it say? It didn't even say. I wouldn't tell them either. That's almost embarrassing to have so few cards. There's got to be more elements to the Chinese zodi Zodiac. But I guess we'll find out what they are if I can get this open. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Ooh. The Year of the Rat. See, it looked kind of pretty from afar, but up close, that's like a, ew, all those rats all over her naked body. Blech. I'm kind of grossed out, to be honest. All right, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit better here. Um, all right, so it's denoted by this uh, yin and yang energy here. And... Since there's like nothing to the book, let's go ahead and read the rat. What does the rat tell us? The rat says, um, so I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to show this to you as well. Um, the oracle is made of 24 cards divided in two sets of 12 cards each. The 12 cards in each set re uh, respectively correspond to the 12 Chinese zo zodiac signs. Ah, the cards with the white border and black writing will be considered yang cards the cards with the black border and white writing will be considered yin cards so each zodiac sign will appear twice one as a yang card and one as a yin card um okay and they the meanings are the same okay so perfect let's split these up and take a look at them and compare them mm, okay now this is super lazy <laughs> if you ask me this is super lazy 100%. Okay, so the only difference is the white and the black or the yin and the yang at the bottom here. Uh, so let's go ahead and read both the, uh, the <clears throat> yin and the yang of the rat. I'm just thinking for like the sake of time. Just read the whole book, the whole five pages. <laughs> All right, rat, sentence, powerful life force beneath the negligible energy. Uh, energies. Keywords, cautious, agile, adaptable to adversities, team worker. Description, following the fairy, the rats under her divine protection come in flocks to top off a cliff. 
to the top of a cliff. Good God. Although each of them looks weak and small, the convergence of the whole family generates a great, encouraging, and unfailing power full of vitality. At the peak of the mountain, the rats are overlooking the vast land as they own the entire world. As if they own the entire world. Okay, the yang meanings, positive meanings, fast in reaction, united, live in the moment. Um, okay, and this is... This is the yang right here. Um, and then the active meanings mean flexible, accepting. Action meanings uh, look at a problem from, a different per from different perspectives. The yin meaning is negative meanings, timid, cowering, fastidious, lack of foresight, and charisma. Passive meanings compromise, appropriate adventure, understanding meanings, trust, the voice within you make long-term plans. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just kind of flip these over to the next duplicate cards. The ox sentence, the unmoving strength that rises from the earth. Keywords, slow, purposeful, stable, safe, unmoving, unrelenting. Description, the ox, sometimes depicted as a water buffalo, stays stable against a whirlwind of change. His powerful figures is uh, figure is unmoved by the mist circling it as much as from the wait a second it's missing a whole page oh there it is as as much from the light of dawn a whirlwind of water animated by a water spirit surrounds him and yet the ox stays unmoved yang meetings positive meanings the ability to stay calm stable and independent Active meanings, resist, persevere. Action meanings, be strong on what you believe. Yin meanings, negative meanings, slow, incapable to adapt, stubborn. Passive meanings, uh, receiving, listening, self-confidence. Understanding meanings, uh, listen to yourself, long memories, long distance planning. Um, I don't even know... Um, I, I will have to, I will have to give these cards a chance and work with them a little bit. I am kind of disappointed as like the yin and yang side of these. Um, the pictures are all right, but let's take a look. Um, we've got the tiger. Uh, the rabbit. The dragon. I feel like this is good if you're trying to learn a little bit about each of the Chinese zodiac. Um, and I'm a dragon, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read it because I just think dragons are super mythical like me. Anyway, <laughs> sentence: The whole world is just a stage. Uh, oh, this is for a uh, dragon. Old phone. Yep, here we go. Uh, Sentence, the whole world is just a stage for dreams. Keyword, keywords, free, authoritative, courageous, dreamer, care about the world. Description, the dragon travels freely between heaven and earth, decorating the world with richly beautiful colors. He also knows his own responsibility. Even if it's just a little girl's dream, he will also protect it attentively. The, yin me or the yang meanings, uh, positive meanings, authoritative, free, mission, uh, Broad-minded, active meanings, push forward, focus, hold on to your dream. Action meanings, the greater your dream is, the wider the world becomes. Yin, uh, or the negative meanings, unpredictable, unsustainable, passion. Freewheeling, overambitious, passive meanings, accept advice, down to earth, step by step. Understanding meanings, great dreams also start from under your feet. So very cool. Yeah, I think I think this is um, an interesting way to kind of learn about your uh, Chinese um, astrology and kind of incorporate it into your own learning of self. Um, I'm sure you know on some level we all harbor many of these traits, and it'd be easy to kind of like pull one of these cards and determine um, the trait um, that is influencing. I mean, this would definitely be good um, for like maybe a shadow reading. Um, and I'm defending this purchase because I don't think I can return it. Um, <laughs> um, 
But I think that this would be good for um, a shadow reading in the sense of, okay, the situation is, let's say, you know, exhibiting horse attributes. Um, and then you can kind of use this horse. I can fly freely without e without wings. Keywords, energetic, frank, enthusiastic, loyal, and willing to be constrained. Um, so I just kind of feel like you can maybe just use it on to see what is kind of influencing. Um, if this is, you know, a year reading, you know, you can say you can use this as an inspiration for the year or the time. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think really the learning for this is, is, uh, as an influence. Um, this is very interesting though. I love how this, um, Native American female is flying through the air next to this horse. Oh, it's probably not Native American, but some sort of Native culture, um, probably in Asia, I would assume. Although it's hard to, to tell. Okay, here we have the goat. Very earthy. I mean, I think the goat in regular astrology is very earthy, too. And we have the monkey. And the rooster. The dog. And the pig. And that's that's the extent of this deck. So you basically get 12 cards duplicated. The yin and the yang for the Chinese oracle with the book that is that thick. So, um, a lot of people I see online will, um, use these cards, not these ones, um, specific, I, I would probably use this as a shadow deck, um, just to kind of determine what attributes are influencing or what characteristics or attributes of the personality are influencing, um, the situation, career or love or otherwise. Um, so let me know if you like this video, please like subscribe and share. If there's something specific that resonated with you, please let me know about that too. Um, uh, so yeah, liking, subscribing and sharing really helps me, um, grow and gets kind of my videos out to more people. So, um, I appreciate it so much every time you guys do that. Um, and I think that's it. Have a blessed, beautiful, wonderful day.